Mark here at Whiskey Whistle. Mortlac Rare Old Space Side Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Should you run and grab yourself a bottle of this or should you look for something else? Stay tuned for the Mortlac Rare Old Whiskey Whistle. Hey friends, Mark here at Whiskey Whistle, your wise choice in independent whiskey and spirits reviews, bringing you whiskey review number 248, Mortlach Rare Old Speyside Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. A nice little sample here. Haven't you been curious about this one? Boy, I know I have. And I'm so happy to be able to try this and hopefully to offer you a little inkling as to whether this is something that you should be looking out for or whether maybe it's not quite right for you. So let's get that poured first of all. And this sample, well, I've got to give a big thank you uh, to a long-standing Whiskey Whistle subscriber. And uh, well, his name is Dominic. I won't mention his last name. And uh, I'll just read this quick note. Hey Mark, hope these reach, you, these reach you well and safe. Feel free to give your honest opinion. And uh, talacht. I'm not sure if that's the right pronunciation. Enjoy. I have included some extra information on the casks used. These are all official bottlings. All right, and this is number five of five, Mortlac Rare Old. It's 43.4% ABV. Uh, the casking, these are rejuvenated casks, first fill sherry butts, first fill bourbon barrels, and refill casks. So quite a mishmash of casks. Hopefully all together that will come together in a nice symphony of flavor. Let's find out. Price wise, in my hometown of Winnipeg, this is $99 Canadian. And I'm going to pour this in my classic malt selection. And I think that's fitting because this is a Diageo official single malt from the uh, Mortlach distillery. Of course, most of the Mortlach, the three point something million liters per annum that they make goes into making Johnny Walker and other Diageo blends. However, they do make four official bottlings, this being one of them. All right, let's get it poured. And that looks like about 50 milliliters. So I'm gonna go in with about half, maybe just a touch more. And um, well, the great thing here is in the very next review, oh, interesting. In the very next review, I'll also be doing another Morlach, and that's going to be from Gordon and McPhail. That's a famous one, discontinued. So let's see how those compare. Color-wise, they look very similar, actually. Anyway, a big thank you to Dominic, who is also part of Team Whiskey Whistle on Patreon. All right. Let's have a look at this now. Uh, here on Whiskey Whistle, we're going to look at the color of the whiskey. We'll look at the legs. What kind of legs does Mortlach Rare Old have? Then we'll check out the nose, the palate, and the finish, also with water. Finally, we'll give it a Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score. So stay tuned right till then. Now, oh, before we get to that, uh, I want to give a, a little bit of a, make a little bit of a plea for your help. There is a Whiskey Tube, Whiskey Tuber, uh, check out the hashtag, by the way, hashtag whiskey tube. Uh, there's a whiskey tuber, um, a, a great gentleman. He does his own whiskey reviews. He used to be part of a group called Bubba and the Beard, and he's now broken out on his own called uh, Getting Weird with the Beard. And his name is Lloyd. And unfortunately, except for his truck and whatever was in there, he's lost everything by fire, I believe. Anyway, uh, me and a whole bunch of the other whiskey tubers have decided that uh, we're going to try to uh, raise a little bit of funds for him to help him get back on his feet. And well, here is his uh, PayPal account. So uh, why not why not send a little bit of cash his way? Could five dollars, two dollars, ten dollars, whatever you've got, give a little donation to Lloyd. Help him get back on his feet and also get back into producing great whiskey content. And he also has, by the way, he's also got a um, beard grooming product line. You can check that out also on, uh, I believe, on his Patreon account. All right, that's 27 Beard Co. You can check that out on Facebook. Uh, Premier Beard Care, 27 Beard Co. And he's deciding on possibly a new logo. Check out that logo. Isn't that great? All right, anyway. 
So check out his Facebook. Maybe give a little bit of a donation if you're able. That would be great. Anyway, let's get on to the review here. So the color. Let's look at the color of Mortlach Rare Old. It's got a very, very potent scent. I'm really enjoying that. Anyway, the color. What do you see there for color? This looks like a straight up golden hue. This is perhaps just slightly brighter than uh, than others. For example, than some Johnny Walkers, etc. A nice golden honey, a beautiful color. Is it naturally colored? I'm not sure. Is it chill filtered? Well, again, I'm not really sure. I have seen some whiskeys as low as 42%. In fact, I think even 41% that were unchill filtered. It's hard to say. It's not listed on the bottle, so we can maybe guess it might might be chill filtered, but it might not be. Anyway, uh, again, another thing to discover. Perhaps we can discover that today by adding a bit of water. Okay, how about the legs? Let me just spin that around. We'll check out the legs. Mort Lac, rare old. Here we go. Well, pretty slow legs, in fact. Slow to start. Not very uh, visible compared to others that I've seen before. So it just kind of slides down the glass in a, in a single sheet. Let's see here. Well there, now we've got a little bit more action there. Medium speed, hangs fairly nicely. Uh, quite a bit left on the glass there. Well, we can be a little bit hopeful. So let's check out the nose. The first thing that comes to mind is honey. Honey, a bit of peat. A little bit of sulfur, but in a nice way. A hint of sherry in there. There's some very unusual spices. Clove is one spice I'm smelling here. Bay leaf also. Definitely some pepper. Again, not a lot of vanilla here. This is a very herbal event. Yeah, instead of vanilla, I want to go with honey, as I mentioned. And, well, I do like the scent. It's potent enough. It is interesting enough, so that's nice. Now, I've had one other Mortlach before, and in fact, it's right over here. So, at the end of the next review, when I'm doing the Gordon and McPhail Mortlach 15-year-old, I'm going to compare the Rare Old, the Mortlach 15, and also this Mortlach 18-year-old. We'll see how they compare. Now, this is non-age stated, so there could be some whiskeys that are on the younger side. To my nose, I would say that uh, about eight years old would be the minimum that I'm smelling here. I'm not smelling especially young malt. And I'd say that about 15 years is a, probably the upper end of the content, there could be something older, but in very small quantities. So a sizable amount of 8 to 15 year old, there could be some older uh, whiskeys in there, hard to say. I do get a bit of a leather scent here, and it is something I typically smell beyond 18 years, although some do actually have a leathery scent even at a younger age. For example, Glenfiddich. Mm, all right, on to the palate. Cheers, everybody. Now, it's very spicy on the tongue. Peppery. Maybe a little bit on the sharp side. Did I mention the price in UK? In the UK, this is priced at about 29 pounds. Uh, on some sites, it could be a little bit less, could be a little bit more, depending on where you're shopping. Very peppery. 
However, it's got quite a decidedly fruity palette, which is nice. That's behind the pepper. And again, as I'm tasting this for the first time, everything is coming all at once. The finish, well, it does have a very long finish. The finish has some um, astringent fruits, like um, a bit of persimmon or perhaps a, a slightly underripe banana. Maybe I'll go with a banana there. And the longer I uh, the longer I sit here, the more I'm just getting this just sort of slightly dry, bitter, astringent flavor coming uh, carrying on in the finish. It's got a bit of a waxy mouthfeel. There's a few sort of older furniture polish, uh, polished oak type of flavors coming in here as well. So I'm guessing that yes, there would be a little bit of older content enough that it'll make an impact on the flavor. Very different. This is very different from a lot of the other Diageo official bottlings. For example, uh, Oban or Talisker or Craig and Moore or uh, Talwini. I'm forgetting one. Uh, Glen something down in the lowlands. And it's also different from the single tins that I've had, Dufftown, Dufton, Dufton, Dufftown, I think it's Dufton, Dufton and um, Glendolin. And here we have Glen Ord back here. I know a lot of people are waiting for a review on that one. That's a nice 18 year old. Oh, and uh, uh, Royal Loch Nagar. Uh, again, a lot of very, um, there's a kind of a common theme along, among a lot of those, uh, those classic malts and the extended classic malt selection. This is a bit different. This is quite a bit different in, uh, I guess it's probably the casking. I dare say there might be something different about the, um, I don't know, possibly the location of the warehouse. Is this matured in the same warehouse as everything else? I don't know. But I'm guessing maybe not. Boy, oh boy, that is a very, very bitter, very astringent, very subtly sweet herbal sort of a taste event that's coming on here. All right, time to add a bit of water to that. Well, I'm really enjoying it. I did mention there's a bit of sharpness there. So if you're looking for a super smooth whiskey, this might not be the one you're looking for. <laughs> Boy, that Star Wars uh, quote keeps coming up, doesn't it? These aren't the droids you're looking for. These are not the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. These are not the droids we're looking for. Move along. Carry on. Move along. Move along. Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> All right, time to be less silly and a little bit more serious with this serious whiskey tasting. Whenever you taste whiskey, you have to have a scowl on your face. <sighs> no, forget that, right? All right. Rare old from Mortlac with a bit of water added. Well mixed. The honey has subsided somewhat, leaving some grainy bread, fresh, warm, grainy bread, just out of the oven. Mm-hmm. And it's got its own sweetness. Oh yeah, that's nice. And there's just that hint of that, that flinty, Kind of a, hmm, not a tarry peat, but more of like an, an earthy peat coming through here. Well, as a space side, that certainly stands apart from the norm. This is very different. Still got the herbs there, but this uh, very fresh grainy bread scent is really, really nice. All right, on to the palate with water. Cheers again, all. It's 
still got that little bit of a sulfur and uh, but a nice sulfur little hint of peat just a waft coming up your nose towards the end of the palate which is really enhancing the event here it is a little bit less sharp a little bit smoother with water still a very nice long finish hmm Now one nice change I am noticing, especially in the finish, is that that uh, bitter astringent finish has become a little bit more fruity. Now it's a little bit more like, for example, um, sweet citrus skins. Something like, uh, for example, uh, kumquats, which in Korean are known as uh, ginkang. In that fruit, the flesh of the fruit is the thing that's sour and bitter. Meanwhile, the skin of that uh, little tiny citrus orange is so sweet. With just that little bit of that orange oil uh, a kick to it. Well, anyway, nice. All right, on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Mort Lack. Rare old. What's that going to be? Well, boy, I do like it. I'm going to go with 84 out of 100 for Mortlach Rare Old. It is 43%, point, in fact, 43.4%, so 0.4% uh, above the, the norm for a lot of whiskeys that are bottled at 43. But definitely attractively packaged would make a very nice gift. Now, let me answer the question of, should you grab a bottle of this? Or should you look for something else? Well, I'm gonna tell you this. If I was in Canada, I would probably look for something else. $100 plus taxes in Manitoba, so that's going to be, oh, what is it now? $112, I believe. Five and seven, anyway. $112 or so in Manitoba. Of course, that's Canadian money. <laughs> Uh, in the UK, uh, 29 pounds, I would say that's a definite buy for something different from Speyside, for something different from a lot of other whiskeys. This is sort of in the category with whiskeys such as Kleinlich and uh, uh, Ben Nivis. I've got it over there. It's different. Um, it's in a category of its own. It's very herbal. It's got this... Um, just a very savory herbal edge to it that you don't get from a lot of typical Speyside or Highlanders. Anyway, so what did I say? 84 out of 100 for Mortlac Rare Old. Again, a big thank you to Dominic. And uh, let me mention that one more time, the Patreon account. Come and join Team Whiskey Whistle. I've got lots of things planned. I do have to get certain things set up there on Patreon yet. Uh, that will happen very soon. And, oh, there's also a website update coming very soon. So uh, the old clunker is going to be put out to pasture, as you say, and uh, we'll uh, bring in a new calf, which will be a beautiful new website, I hope. Hopefully run by WordPress, I think. I'm still thinking about whether to pull the trigger on that. I think I will. Anyway, wait and see what's going to happen with that one. And stay tuned for the next review. Again, that's going to be another Mortlac. And uh, lastly, another little... Uh, plug for my dear friend Lloyd, also known as The Beard. All right, so again, he's lost everything. Why not send him something? Um, send him some whiskey. You can contact him with that email address. Or you can uh, send him a little bit of a, let's say, a, a care package that'll help him maybe get uh, himself set back up again. All right. Well, thanks again for tuning in, all you good-looking whiskey lovers. See you again for the next one. This is Mark. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Whiskey Whistle. Be sure to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Be sure to stay tuned next time to join me, the host of the show, Mark, as I explore more whiskeys with you. Take care now and we'll see you next time. <music>